Hey everybody, how you doing? It is me, Timothy. And happy Monday to all of you out there. How's your last Monday of 2020's going for you? Hope it's going good. And being safe out there for all of you out there watching me around this cotton picking world today. <laughs> yeah, this is a eight night drink from Big B's. Mm. I like it. Tastes like a eight night too. Mm. My God. Oh, my Lord. Oh, I love it. Real good. Real good, people. If you got a Big B's where you're at, try that, the eggnog drink before it goes out. Oh, my God, people, you will love it. Mmm. My Lord, I love it. So how was everybody's weekend out there for you? Hope that your weekend was a fantastic one for you. I hope uh, your Christmas was a good one as well. Uh, mine was pretty good, people. Can't complain about it. Just a typical Christmas day <laughs> with me and my son. <laughs> that was it. Yeah, that was, that's been it, just me and my son home all weekend and just chilling and watched football games Saturday and watched football games yesterday. Well, then this morning, went to go do laundry and just been catching up on things on my sites and uh, uploaded some videos this morning. I'm going to be uploading a video up on my main, uh, my blog channel, so uh, you guys should be getting something on there pretty soon. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. So what do y'all think about what's happening down there in um, Tennessee? Uh, kind of crazy, huh, man? <laughs> <laughs> Don't expect that to happen in, in Nashville, Tennessee. And then yesterday, they I was watching some dude do a live stream yesterday, and he was showing a a scene for, in a, somewhere in Tennessee. They had the road blocked, and they had this white like uh, truck. And I guess they they had apprehended the person that was diving it, and he said there was bombs in it, but nothing went off, so I guess he, we got fooled there. <laughs> but people were hearing the same thing that they were hearing from that one trailer that blew up on Christmas Day. I've got a bomb in here. It's like, oh, no. <laughs> It's like, God dang, what's going on now? <laughs> Got to worry about going to a place and somebody pull up with something and blow us up or what? My God, it's crazy, man. So, please be safe out there, people, and watch your surroundings at all time, okay? Because, man, just uh, never seen anything like this happen before, and... Uh, things are getting crazy, crazy. So, <laughs> again, be safe out there, peeps. Be safe out there. So, how many of you have tried that Mr. Beast burger yet? Or has there been a Mr. Beast restaurant opening where you're at? Now, I know... Uh, what's his name? Airsoft Fatty. Any of you heard of him? Well, I guess he did a video of going up, up to Lansing to uh, a Mr. Beast um, place up there and got him the Mr. Beast burger <laughs> up in Lansing, Michigan. 
I haven't seen anything down in my neck of the woods yet. I keep on white looking, but nothing yet. But yeah, if you're in any areas where that Mr. Beast um, burger place is, get the Mr. Beast burger, people. Yeah, because looks good. Looks good, <laughs> the way people are saying so. But again, look for it. I hope and pray Mr. Beast will open a place in my town. Uh, hey, everybody. Want to say hi to Jack Ebes. Uh, there's your shout-out, Jack. Hope you're having a great one and an awesome one. Hey, everybody. What's up? Want to say hi to Chase one, hope you're having a great day, Chase, and a good one, and take care. Hey, everyone, want to say hi to Star Eclipse. Hope you're having a good one and a safe one. Hey, everybody, I want to say hi to Roman uh, Born Nogville. Hope you're having a great one and a super fine one. Hey everyone, I want to say hi to Earn Mansion. Hope you're having a great one and a super fine one. Mm, let's see some new cereal. Here we got Ego chocolate waffles. And got frosted mini wheats. Cinnamon roll. Hmm. Gonna have to come and get these when run out of cereal. And then they got um, uh, Kellogg's oat, oatmeal cream pies. Oh, cool. And, uh, and Little Debbie's, cool. Gonna have to try these. Right there, people. But I'm here to pick up a few odds and ends here. Uh, let's see, I gotta get some sugar. It's <sighs> sugar. And now, gotta go to where the deodorant's at. No, see ya in the deodorant area. Uh, before I go to my one area, gotta grab me my little popsicles. I got that. And I hope this is the budge. One. Yep. <laughs> yeah. I love these. And now I will see you in the deodorant area okay here at the deodorant area uh, trying to figure out which one my son usually gets um Got so much expensive things here. Hard to know which one to get. <laughs> okay, well, I'll grab two. Yeah, oh, let's say I guess that is it. Don't need no other things. Oh, that's it. 
I will talk to you guys when I get home. Hey everybody, coming here to order, get me and my son something for dinner. I'm gonna be stopping here at Taco Bell. Watching me order. Go get the Bacon Club Chalupas. Oh, pretty good. How you doing? I'm doing pretty good myself. Thank you so much for asking. Can I get started? Uh, yeah, like uh, four of your bacon club jalupas. Okay. And that's it. All right. Did you want any sauce with those jalupas today? Uh, nah. No? All right. It's going to be 1480 at the window for you. to get the chili bus people and I will talk to you when I get home hey everyone I want to say hi to I X dash JJ hope you're having a good one I X JJ hey everyone I want to say hi to Diana Carbajo. Hope you're having a good one, Diana. Or Donna. <laughs> hey, everybody. What is up? It's me, Timothy. Going to be eating this bacon club chapella from Taco Bell. You'll be having this. And you guys will sit here and enjoy watching me eat this. We'll just sit here and talk. <laughs> and like we always do. Hey, I'm going to encourage any of you out there, if you're here in the United States, um, find a location where they have a Mr. B's burger. Yeah, Mr. Beast. You know, the YouTuber Mr. Beast? If any of you didn't know, he's got a... Um, Burger chain going. And a few uh, YouTubers have been doing uh, videos of his uh, burger. 
Uh, I'm sure a lot of you know who uh, Airsoft Fanny is, don't you? Uh, he did a video of going up to a Mr. B's burger place and getting a burger. <laughs> I wish he would put a place in our town. <laughs> Gotta travel all the way up to Lansing, Michigan to, just to go to a Mr. Beast burger shop. Man, this has a lot of things in it. Well, I think it has avocado in here, if I'm not mistaken. You can't taste no uh, uh, bacon taste in it. But it's a good, um, it's good, I like it. Yeah, but it's, um, the, called the Bacon Club, Chapella. Get it if you're at a, um, Taco Bell in your area. Well, we're getting some snow here in Michigan. I was watching a, a, a live stream somewhere. Man, they showed it snowing. <laughs> and now they're getting freezing rain. <laughs> we don't get it.
Not not a bad sandwich. <laughs> so, what's the one thing that you guys have been missing mostly out there during this uh, pandemic? I mean, I've been missing events. I really do. I'm just, I don't know, I just love going to an events and it's just weird not be able to go to no event or can't go to a movie, can't go out to eat and it just, it just, it gets boring just sitting in the house and not be able to do anything. <laughs> You know, I'm used to going to an event and getting videos of it and putting it up on YouTube. And I just haven't been able to do anything like that this year. And uh, I don't know, kind of sad and, and depressing because not be able to post what you want on your channel and enjoy doing that. And, and just. It's weird. It's been really awkward and weird and everything this year. And it's, you know, it's really messing with my mind, too, because, you know, you know, there's times I might want to go to the bowling and let it go bowling. Well, can't go bowling because they got it closed. Or, um... Might want to go to a movie because it's boring or nothing to do. And <laughs> can't go to no movie because they got it closed. <laughs> or go to our local library and, and check out books. <laughs> but they got that closed. And, and how long are they going to keep these places closed? And oh my God, come on, man. <laughs> It's like I say to myself, our governors should let business owners decide on their own if they want to close or not. It shouldn't be up to our governors. But our governors kind of step out their boundary. They should leave it up to the people that own the business if they close or if they don't close. Now I'm sure they know what to do. They're not dumb people. <laughs> but yeah, to our governors, they think they're dumb. <laughs> And it's sad, too. And this social distancing seems the one that's really messing it up big time for our businesses and everything. And how long is this social distancing going to be going on? And uh, how long do we have to keep doing it? And uh, It's like, come on, man. <laughs> Let's get back to a little normal. <laughs> Jeez. Because <laughs> I miss my entertainment. I really do. I want to go see a wrestling event. I can't do that because can't. they're not bringing it because nobody's coming. <laughs> or I want to go see a concert but can't go see a concert because of social distancing. Uh, social distancing, come on, man. Let's if we wear our mask and everything, it should we should be safe uh, from away from everything. But oh well, what can I say? You know, it just makes us more 
vulnerable on catching the virus. It's like, why shut down the bowling alleys? Why shut down the movie theaters? Why don't they go shut down bigger corporations like Walmart, Meyer, uh, what's that? Who else? Family Fair. Why don't they shut them down? I, I, why go attack your smaller places like your bowling alley, your movie theaters, your local libraries? But they can't shut down other places. It, it just doesn't make sense. It really doesn't. It does not make sense. They won't sh go shut down some of these other places, but go attack like restaurants and that, this and that. And social distancing, well, let's say social distancing, that doesn't work. <laughs> oh, but, yeah, I kind of miss being able to do anything. I just hope and pray that this uh, social distancing will hurry up and get over with so we can move <laughs> Start enjoying entertainment. Uh, I miss my entertainment. <laughs> and sometimes I'll sit and cry, people. I really do. I sit and cry because it's just boring. It just nothing to do. And it's messing with you. And tearing you apart, and, I don't know, just, just not used to just being at home and just sit and not be able to do nothing. That's what I miss, being able to do things. But now we got our movie theaters back open, and I'm bumbling the alleys, let's see how long they keep them open again. <laughs> They'll probably shut them down like it, uh, always because of the spike of the virus. Well, go after some of these bigger places. Because the spike could be there too. But they're not shutting them down. No, they're not shutting them down. But they go after these other smaller places. <laughs> uh, just crazy. Ready to go nuts, I guess. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, if you guys got a Mr. Beast where you're at, back to Mr. Beast talking about, again, check your area, see if any new restaurant has popped up, Mr. Beast Burger, and get yourself the Mr. Beast Burger and support Mr. Beast. <laughs> but I got to travel all the way up to Lansing, Michigan just to find a Mr. Beast. <laughs> but I think I might do that someday. I have somebody take me up there so I can go get the Mr. Beast Burger and do. Hey everybody, what is up? It's me, Timothy. Uh, I forgot to end this vlog here. Uh, I'm ending it here on New Year's Eve. I hope everybody enjoyed this vlog and. Uh, watch me drink an eggnog drink and uh, coming to the store and picking up some things and coming to Taco Bell with me. Uh, I hope all of you enjoyed that. And I want to say thank you very much for watching and enjoying. And I hope everybody has a wonderful New Year's Eve and a pleasant one and Hope 2021's a good year for everybody out there. I just hope it's better than two, 2020. <laughs> that is for sure. <laughs> uh, crazy, crazy. But everybody, you all have a pleasant one. And please remember during these crises is to wash your hands and if you got a cough or sneeze, please cover with your elbow. And please stay your distance six feet back. And please do me a favor. 
disinfect things if you do. And please, mask up. I know some of you say masks don't work. Well, masks do work. But it has to be up to you to do it. You know, you could be the carrier. You could be the one having the virus and not knowing it. So stop and think. Stop and think, okay? Use your mind and stop and think. <clears throat> that you could be the carrier. And if you don't care about protecting other people, well, then I guess you don't care, huh? Like I do care. I wear my mask all the time when I go out and stuff. Yeah, I don't want to, but I have to. Or I won't be able to get service anywhere <laughs> or being able to walk into a place. Because they de definitely can stop you from coming into a place without a mask. You know, that's how wicked and wild they, they are. So, please mask up, people. And look out for one another. But, again, y'all take it easy. Have a good one. And, Happy New Year!